Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we, we have the Two of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of harmony. This is a card of balance. This is a card of connecting with someone where there is emotional compatibility and the feelings are mutual. So you could be connecting with someone who, you know, it's like you guys both feel you're on the same page and there's mutual love and care and affection for each other. Okay, so let's see. We have the Ten of Cups, Water Energy, the Ten of Swords, Air Energy, and the Seven of Cups, Water Energy. So it, it looks like there's something else you were involved in before. You know, you could have been in a situation that ended and it's like you're attracting a better love, someone more compatible with you. And something about this connection, it's going to help you realize why it didn't work out with someone else. You know, you, there could have been a, a very painful ending that you experienced in the past that left you very confused and heartbroken. And there could have been a lot of illusions in that situation. There could have even been love bombing. And when it came to an end, it, it was especially painful. You may have felt betrayed in that situation. Um, but there is something here about letting something end because you've got something better for you here. If it's not already in your life, it's coming. Okay, so let's clarify these cards for you. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So you are being seen as grounded, you're being seen as down-to-earth, stable, and having a lot to offer. You bring a lot to the table. You are, uh, you know, the kind of person that someone would want to settle down with. You're a good partner, and, you know, people see this. Um, even this person who, you know, you could have experienced a very negative experience or a painful ending or even a betrayal with, even they know that, you know, and it looks like um, someone more, uh, who's more of a match to you is showing up, someone who can also match this good energy, because you can come with all of this good energy, but if you're with someone who can't reciprocate, it's, it's kind of wasted. So it looks like you're attracting someone who can reciprocate. Okay, so let's see. We have the Tower, Mars energy, the Seven of Wands, Fire energy, and the Two of Swords, Air energy. There's definitely something leaving your life. There's a some a, a connection that wasn't healthy, that's that's getting cut out. With the Tower, it's it's like it's it's almost like this ending is abrupt and it's not even in your control. Um, this breakup, you may find out something that leaves you with no choice but to have to really you know accept that the writing is on the wall. So I do see you kind of closing off to someone and making space. You know, kind of standing your ground, defending yourself, making space this love because there's a two of cups this is like a soulmate union and whoever this new connection is with it's someone you can grow old with someone you can have a family with someone who you can have that long term happily ever after and emotional fulfillment and you'll know it's them because they have the same outlook as you they match your energy they they reciprocate they have the same relationship views as you so it looks like after a hurricane comes a rainbow yeah you know there's definitely this feeling of something better for you so something that looked like it was, you know, a, a disaster, you know, it was actually re divine redirection. This tower was a, a blessing in disguise. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a, an oracle card for you, Leo.
Okay, so we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So definitely closing the door to something difficult and painful and confusing. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have flirts. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. So it does look like something, a very dark period is coming to an end for you. There's something more light, something more genuine coming in. And, um, you know, it, there won't be this toxic shadow around this new connection. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, we have gallantry grant me a single smile sweet william small has form and aspect bright like that sweet flower that yields great job delight so you're finding happiness you know a reason to smile again you know the light at the end of the tunnel um a rainbow after a storm or after a hurricane okay so i'm gonna pull out a, a card for your advice leo Okay, we have three cards here. We have surrendered to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us. In the mundane aspects of life, remember that you are a magical being with the uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Okay, and it looks like you are attracting a love that can match that energy, a love that can make you appreciate who you are, your uniqueness, what you bring to the table, instead of, you know, kind of moving away from someone who may have taken that for granted or may have even exploited that good quality of yours. Okay, so next we have the surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and supports will arrive. So this could be something that helps you to get out of a dark place. It looks like there was some sort of dark, heavy energy that you are moving away from. And then we have surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So an end of that confusion, there's something here about kind of uh, surrendering to the divine you know there's divine intervention here as well with the tower okay so that's what i'm seeing for you leo i hope you have a really really good day leo bye leo